Hey. Sure. I'm moving. Ah, oh, hello. Good to see you again. Right. Ain't nothing in the wilderness can stop me. Except being locked up. Well, on the way back, I twisted something in my leg, foot, area. Where does my foot end and my leg begin? Wherever that is, it hurts. So, no runs for me for a little while. Time to kick back and relax. Uh, <laughs> I did a dumb thing. I was trying to get away from a terror ray. Usually, you can just get a ways from their nest and they'll stop following you. But this one was really persistent. Chased me for, I don't know, forever. Scratched me up but good. I barely got away. Then I tripped over a void damn rock. A rock! Not even a slippery one. There's your iconoclast theory of chaos in action. Mister, I don't know what chaos is, but rocks ain't got theories. They're rocks. Till it stops hurting, I guess. Zora says I'll be fine in a month or so. Huh? Why? Oh, ha! You're funny. Armor itches something off. Sure.
Coming, Captain. Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? Welcome to Amber Heights, Captain. Call me Tucker. You here to join the Iconoclasts? Help us free this world? I am not a little boy. Haven't been one for decades, no matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me? Had hoped she'd accept my decision. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. Don't go play with friends. Mantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. She doesn't want to see me as anything other than her baby boy. Why would I go back again? What'll be different this time? <sighs> You're right. I can do this. I just need to stand my ground and make her see she can't control me anymore. No one can. Captain. He does it. I ought to mention, the Iconoclasts are loyal folk. Treat them right, they'll do the same. Turn on them, they'll open fire without a second thought. Damned philosophists. When you've got a moment, I'd like to talk to you about something. 
Can we talk? I've been mulling over everything with Graham and the Iconoclasts. Upon further reflection, Graham's not as much of an idiot as I thought he'd be. But in other ways, he's worse. I'd urge you to be careful in future dealings with him, Captain. He's an unhinged zealot who lacks awareness of the consequences of his choices. I wouldn't trust him to lead a crew, let alone a town-wide cult. As much as I usually appreciate the board's ordered approach to governance, in Monarch's case, they aren't really running anything so much as leaving everyone to rot. Unless you agree with them that the inhabitants of Monarch should be forced to evacuate, or die from their stubborn rebelliousness. Zora is militant, unbending, and ruthless for sure. I'd be hesitant to oppose her. But she gets results, and she doesn't suppress intelligent discourse. Can't say I agree with the Iconoclasts, but Zora has what it takes to save Monarch. Yes? Scientism, as its name implies, believes that nature abhors equality. The strong survive, and the weak perish for the betterment of the whole. And reason, not emotion, is the seat of all morality. Wisdom means accepting the vicissitudes of life with grace and dignity. I prefer to think of it as looking at reality for what it truly is, not how we'd like it to be. Yes? Anything you'd like to discuss? You meditate today? If not, you should. What are you buying? I'll be damned. Thanks for doing that. Here. Zora sets aside a bit or two for people who help out. Before you ask, no. It ain't pay. Just being generous to folks who do a good turn. Hey. Thanks again for helping out. What could I do you for?
Excuse me, but this area's off limits. We got a leaky generator. It ain't safe. That's my nice way of telling you to sod off. We're fixing a leaky generator. What's it to you? What are you, a safety inspector? It's busted, pumping out gas. It ain't safe. Yeah, whatever. And I'm just gonna let you walk on in? Why's that now? Hell, I ain't gonna pass up free bits. Make it painful. We're going, we're going. What are you looking at? Keep walking, brother. I don't know how you got those goons to leave, but thank you. Graham ordered rollers and what's-its, right? For a printing press? Here, take them. Like I said, this is my last run. You'd have to ask him. All I know is that if I get caught, I'll get arrested. It's an enviable thing he's doing. Free people and all that. I can't live that way. I need my structure. But I respect the iconoclasts for doing it. Law help them. I don't know. Maybe Sublight can lend a hand. I should go. Look, Graham's got a bit or two left in his account. I can send one last dropout before I wash my hands of this. What do you want delivered? I always took that woman for the sensible type. Good on her. I'll send some along. Give them all my regards. And good luck out there. Don't go getting eaten.
Good luck in all that you do. Hey, Max. What does your religion say happens to us after we die? The body returns to the universe from whence it came. I'm sure you've seen a corpse in the various stages of decay. Why do we exist in the first place, then? What the hell's the point? Our lives contribute to the betterment of the human race. Everyone has a part to play for the greater advancement. I ain't got a part. Life ain't a damn cereal. You helped people survive the monarch evacuation, did you not? Perhaps one of them will go on to unlock godhood for the human race. Well, if they do, I hope they remember who pulled them from the jaws of raptodons. What? Sorry. Long day. I'm telling you, the Van Noys are fine. Bullshit, Graham. They don't just abandon orders, and they weren't at the ruins. Where in this sulfur-sodden hellhole did you send them? They're on a very important... Ah, we'll continue this later. Welcome back, Captain. They're hunters. Badass ones at that. Hope they're all right. They're our best unit, and now they're missing in action. And we'll continue that discussion later. Thank the Eternal that someone's got some sense in their head. Carlotta usually schedules the next drop during the meeting. When's she coming? That is... Most unfortunate. This cuts off one of our only two supply lines on Monarch. Sanjar, old friend, you're about to cross a dangerous line. About to? That idiot just declared war. I... we will deal with his subversion later. For now, we must redouble our efforts to spread the truth to the colony. I've already sent a team ahead to scout the press, one of our best. Meet them there and find out if they've been successful. You sent the Vanoys there, didn't you? Oh, for fuck's sake, Graham! We needed them in the ruins! Our people died out there! They went willing to fight for our cause. We need reinforcements, we need new recruits. The Van Noys saw the printing facility with the same importance as I. The written word can be quite effective, but losing your flock seems counterproductive. I have the utmost confidence in their abilities. Friends, we must have faith that the men and women we recruit can handle the duties for which we recruit them. Yes, you're damn right he could have, but he's so obsessed with preaching that he's become blind to our actual problems. Look, just... If the Van Noys are still alive, get them out of there. With Sanjar pressing the issue like this, I have a feeling we'll need them. Hey. If I hear you say survival of the fittest one more time, I'm gonna lose it. Survival's about persistence and luck. So weapon proficiency and adaptive skill play no part whatsoever, in your mind. If it does, it ain't enough. I've gone and outlived the best hunters I ever knew. It is neither luck nor random chance. At times, destiny may not seem fair, but there is a reason for life events even if that reason is not immediately obvious. Please, nature's only got one reason for death, to feed the one still standing. 